Hello YouTube and let's talk about the passing of one of the greatest individuals in investing history. Say thank you, rest in peace, and God bless John C. Bogle, mostly known to those out there in the investing community as Jack Bogle. He passed away, very sadly, on the 16th of January, 2019, at the age of 89. Jack Bogle, as written on Vanguard.com, made an impact on not only the entire investment industry, but more importantly, on the lives of countless individuals, saving for their future and their children's future said Vanguard CEO Tim Buckley. He was a tremendous, intelligent, driven, and talented visionary whose ideas completely changed the way we invest. We are honored to continue his legacy of giving every investor a fair share. Mr. Bogle, a resident of Pennsylvania, began his career in 1951 after graduating magnum cum laude in economics from Princeton University. His senior thesis on mutual funds has caught the eye of fellow Princeton alumnus Walter Morgan, who had founded Wellington Fund, the nation's oldest balanced fund, in 1929 and was one of the deans of the mutual fund industry. Mr. Morgan retired ambitious 22 years old for, uh, were his Philadelphia-based investment management firm, Wellington Management Company. So if you want more about the brief history of Mr. Jack Bogle, just go to Vanguard.com, type into the search Jack Bogle, and they'll be a quick history about one of the best ambassadors of self-worth. So in 1976, Vanguard introduced the first index mutual fund, first index investment trust for individual investors. Ridiculed by others in the industry as un-American and a sure path to mediocrity, the fund the fund collected a mere 11 million during its initial underwriting. Now known as Vanguard 500 Index Fund, it has grown to be one of the industry's largest with more than 441 billion in assets. Today, index funds account for more than 70% of Vanguard's 4.9 trillion in assets. Under management, they are offered by many <clears throat> many other fund companies as well as they make up most of ETFs. For his pioneering of the index concept for individual investors, Mr. Bogle was often called the father of indexing. Let's go to a article from NewYorkTimes.com. Five pieces of advice from John Bogle. The founder of Vanguard who died on Wednesday changed how ordinary people invested. Here are some of his tips. Stay the course. Wise investors won't try to outsmart the market, he says. They'll buy index funds for the long term, and they'll diversify. If we're going to have lower returns, well, the worst thing you can do is reach for more yield. You just have to save more. Number two, beware the experts. How could so many highly skilled, highly paid security analysts and researchers have failed to question the toxic field leveraged balance sheets of Citigroup and other leading banks and investments. Unless you need a financial advisor to help you get started in that routine, you probably don't need a financial advisor at all. Number three, keep costs down. In investing, you get what you don't pay for. Costs matter, so intelligent investors will use low-cost index funds to build a diversified portfolio of stocks and bonds, and they will stay the course, and they won't be foolish enough to think that they can consistently outsmart the market. Number four, don't get emotional. Eliminate emotion from your investment program. 
have rational expectations for future returns and avoid changing those expectations in response to the ephemeral noise coming from Wall Street. Number five, own the entire market. The S&P 500 is a great proxy, Mr. Bogle told the Wall Street Journal last year, adding that he didn't or that he hadn't bought an individual stock in 25 years. This is from the New York Times dot com on January 17th, 2019. Again, rest in peace, John Clifton Jack Bogle, May 8th. 1929 to January 16th, 2019 at age 89. Thank you so much for what you did and what your business will continue to do. You are great. You will be remembered for what you helped everybody in the financial and saving industry. God bless you, Jack. May you rest in peace. And have a great time. I can't wait to see you again. Bye, John. And lastly, I want to play one of the best There's videos I've seen like in a long time. To you today, and I'm quite sure he's here. I haven't seen him, but I, I understood he was coming. Uh, there's a, I believe... Uh, uh, that he made it today, and that is Jack Bogle, who I talked about in the annual report. Jack Bogle has probably done more for the American investor than any man in the country. Jack, would you stand up? There he is. Jack Bogle many years ago, he wasn't the only one that was talking about an index fund, but he, it wouldn't have happened without him. I mean, Paul Samuelson talked about it, Ben Graham even talked about it, but uh, the truth is it was not in the interest of, invest, of the investment industry of Wall Street. It was not in their interest, actually, to have the development of an index fund, of uh, the index fund, because it brought down fees dramatically and as we've talked about some in the reports and other people have commented that index funds overall have delivered for shareholders a result that has been better than Wall Street professionals as a whole. And part of the reason for that is that they've brought down the costs very significantly. So when Jack started, uh, very few people, certainly Wall Street did not applaud him. And he was the subject of some derision and, and uh, uh, a lot of attacks and now uh, we're talking trillions when we get into index funds and we're talking a few basis points when we talk about investment fees in the case of index funds but still hundreds of basis points when we talk about fees elsewhere and I estimate that Jack at a minimum has saved, left in the pockets of investors without hurting them overall in terms of performance at all. Uh, gross performance, he's put tens and tens and tens of billions into their pockets, and those numbers are gonna be hundreds and hundreds of billions over time. So it's Jack's uh, 88th birthday on Monday. So I just say happy birthday, Jack, and thank you on behalf of American investors. And Jack, I've got great news for you. You're going to be 88 on Monday. And in only two years, you'll be eligible for an executive position at Berkshire. Uh, but, um, come on, hang in there, buddy. <laughs> Some smart words from the late, great Jack Bogle from a Morningstar, Inc. interview. What does this say? We can't do anything about inflation, but we can do something about fund costs, and that is keep them low, period. Right. Which means, if 
manager method say, I'm sure, means index fund should be at the top of 